3M videos. They're horrible. If you've been on YouTube before, you probably somehow came across a 3M video. I don't know about you guys, but I personally find it mildly infuriating how there's just like a plethora of these 3M videos, and pretty much most, if not all of them, seem very repetitive. Like, it's not a 3M video unless it has either very loud ear rape audio, some obvious fake acting, a ridiculous thumbnail with 3M on it, and these overdramatic clickbait titles that tell you not to do something at 3M. Do not watch Barney movie at 3M. Do not go to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place at 3M. Do not drink a Bugus Potion at 3M. Do not FaceTime Venom at 3M. Scary! Couldn't open Evil Kermit the Frog at 3M. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that last one. I was trying to do a Kermit the Frog voice, you know. I am Kermit the Frog! Yeah, it's probably not much, but I can actually do a Miss Piggy impression pretty well. Oh, Kermit! Oh! Okay, let's get back to the video. Anyways, it doesn't really matter how fake these 3M videos are, because by the end of the day, they're still gonna make really good ad revenue. Like, most of these 3M videos usually have over a thousand or a million views, thus giving the 3M channel about a thousand or a million subs. Now, I could take the easy route and talk about JayStation, but unfortunately many people have already done that to death. So instead, I'll be talking about someone who is far worse than him. Hey, let's go, let's go back to another brand new video, another day, another banger. <laughs> Alright guys, so it was getting a little dark out, so I had to turn on the lights. But yeah guys, basically, the flock of YouTubers pretty much snatched every piece of JayStation bread, meaning I'm now left with the crumbs of NNA Productions. But hey, look on the bright side. Maybe NNA Productions isn't as bad as people say he is. In fact, let's take a look at one of his videos. Are you dumb or just special? Okay, so the video we'll be watching from NA Productions is Don't Order the Boss Baby Happy Meal at 3am. Okay guys, let's get into the video. However, before we start, allow me to turn up the volume on my earphones for better audio. Like, like it's, it's not, not a 3 video, video unless it has either, either very, very loud ear audio. audio. Okay, let's just watch the video already. Hey, in any school, we'll go back to the brand new video another day. If you still have the ability to hear, then you deserve a purple heart. The video just started and already it feels like my ears are just blown up by a grenade. Turn you here, and turn the post notification to be on notification squad, guys! Oh my god, dude, calm down. You're talking so fast, I can barely even hear you. All I can hear is- <laughs> You know, it's funny to point out, while editing this video, I just realized he kind of looks like the Joker a little bit. And before this video starts, do you know what time it is? <laughs> Guys, I think I just lost all faith in humanity. Okay, I'm gonna skip this. 3.38 am in the morning right now. Okay, they're calling me back. Yo, come on, let's answer it. Hello? Let's just say... I'm the boss. Put that Okay, cook wait, whose sound was that? Okay, never mind, never mind. Um... I found your number and I saw that you sell the Boss Baby's Happy Meal? Yes, I did. You want the Happy Meal? You know, what really makes me laugh is how fake this is. Like, at first they actually used real audio from the Boss Baby, but then a few seconds later, when the person on the phone attempts to do the Boss Baby's voice, he just sounds like an emo Sylvester Stallone. Oh, you do have it? Just give me a second. Let me check in the back and see if you have it. Okay, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I'll, I'll stay on the call. Okay, hello, are you still on the call? Yes, I'm still here. I'm sorry, I just checked on someone else to spot the No one. way! You don't have any more Boss Baby Happy Meal? We have one, but it's really scary. Do you want it? Okay, yes, it's fine. So later on, Suicidal Rocky ends up telling any Productions that he's going to drop off the Happy Meal at a nearby playground for him to pick up. You know, at this point, I'm thinking that NA Productions might be a man-child. I mean, look at him. He's in his 20s, I think, and here he is just picking up a Happy Meal at a nearby playground. What makes this even weirder is that NA Productions seems really happy when he's getting this Happy Meal. Like, he's saying stuff like, Oh my god, guys, it's been years. You know, he's like so happy to get this. And it's all over a freaking Boss Baby McDonald's toy. Like, if you wanted to get something like that so bad, you could at least maybe, I don't know, go on eBay... I bet there could have been some weirdo on there just selling those for at least like a few dollars or so. Let's go. Come on, go 
was the moment you all have been waiting for and even me. Okay, I get that you're happy in A Productions, but can you please stop shaking your camera? You're giving me seizures. You know, I'm not usually one to judge people by their voices, but this guy honestly sounds like a mix between Klaus from American Dad and Professor Scudsworth from Clone High. By the way, this Happy Meal box looks fake as heck. I bet it took them like one minute to design this. So, after a couple minutes of this guy eating cookies and sucking on a pacifier, I I'm not even king. Like, that's everything, that's mostly everything that's in the box, just baby stuff, and he actually sucks on a pacifier at one point. So as NA Productions is trying to be a mukbang YouTuber, you know, showing us him eating cookies and sucking on a pacifier, he immediately gets interrupted by the sounds of someone creaking the door open. The person is then revealed to be none other than the boss baby. Oh no, I'm so scared. Ah, so scary. Yeah. So a couple seconds later, NA Productions then gives the pacifier that he just put his mouth on to his only friend, I, I mean the boss baby. And after that, he pretty much just closes the door on him and locks it. Woohoo, yeah, let's give NNA a big round of applause. He finally survived Stewie Griffin by just giving him COVID and locking the door on him. <laughs> this is so stupid. Alright guys, anyways, I'm gonna be ending the video right over here, cause this is like so insane! Oh my god, shut up! <laughs> Alright guys, go down below right now, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and turn post notification to be on the notification squad guys. NNA Productions is very repulsive to my ears. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I was actually thinking of becoming a YouTube commentator, you know, just making commentaries here at times. You know, unless you guys want me to go back to making mostly animations and memes. So, you know, it's like, tell me how you feel. You know, did you guys like it? Did you guys not like it? Tell me how you feel in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram, at the Tyler Sewers. Over there, I'm just, you know, showing stuff that I made. You know, just showing you some of my hidden talents. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, tap that bell notification to be on the lookout for new videos like this. And I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.